With great power comes great responsibility. Exactly. By learning automation, you're going to have the amazing skill to be able to automate pretty much anything online. In this video, we are going to be using our skills for evil, for exploiting a website for our own gain. Well, good, bad, I don't know, but this website allows for this to happen. So I'm going to show you how automation can be used for evil. Our robot and our automation is going to visit this website it is going to go to this project and then it's going to click like on this project. Now I cannot click like on this project anymore because it has been stored that I have clicked like in the cookies of the Internet Explorer. So our automation is going to clear the cookies, go to this page and click like. And it's going to repeat this until we want, until we want as many likes as we want. All right, without further ado, let's see how we can build this amazing automation. As always, we're gonna start from an empty Canva. We're going to create a new bot and we're going to name our bot early coins hack. Let's create our robot and get right into it. As with most web automations, the first thing that we're going to do is launch a new Internet Explorer or Edge, whichever browser you're using. I'm doing some experimenting with Edge, so I'm going to be using Edge. The next thing that we have to do is add the link to the page or the project that we want to add as many likes to. So I'm going to be using the Genesis Robots project and I'm going to take this link right here. So I'm going to add this link and I'm going to maximize the screen when this opens. The next thing will be to click on this button right here. This time I'm going to use a little bit of a different approach to automating this. I'm not going to be using the recorder. I'm going to be using and dragging and dropping an action from here. So let's drag and drop an action and see how we can automate the push of this button and the clearing of cookies. The next step is going to be clicking on the button. After doing some trial and error, and I spent half an hour trying different options. We're not going to be using the press a button on a web page. We're going to be using click UI element in a window. So you can thank me for that. And remember, when you're doing automation, if one method doesn't work, just try another method. We are going to be using click UI element in a window. And let's add a UI element. So the UI element that we're going to be adding is this button right here. So control and click on this button and we're going to create this element right here. Now let's click inside of this selector and see what it is made out of. It looks pretty complex, but uh, everything is pretty standard until right here, the name of the project. As you can see in the name of the project, we have a number that is uh, 10,926. Now this number is obviously going to be changing as we are going to be clicking. So if we keep this as the selector, this is not going to work. So we're going to update this and we're going to click on the last uh, last selector. This is going to be this one right here and we're going to look for the name. So name right here, Genesis robots and the number right here. So what we're going to do is not equals to, we're going to make it contain. So we're going to make it contain just the name Genesis robots. We're going to click on update and that's it. Now we have created a robot that is going to go to that web page and just one little update that I have made in the launch new Microsoft Edge under the advanced option. We have clear cache and clear cookies. So this is going to clear the cache and clear the cookies so that we can click on the button again. Amazing. So many things in just one action. And we have two actions right now. So we have two actions right now that are going to, we're going to test out right now. And if they work, we're going to make them repeat forever. So it has opened the web page, and now it should, if everything works, it should try to click on the button and it has clicked on the web page as expected. All right. So our process has uh, completed this one click. Now let's make this go forever. As you remember, we always like to use loops when we are trying to make things go forever. So the loops are going to be taking out the repetitive and manual tasks out of everything because that is going to give us the ability to iterate over items. So we're going to start at loop zero. We are going to uh, end our loop at, let's say, one gazillion and we're going to increment by one. So our loop is going to be made out of these steps. Can you guess what is missing? If you can't guess what is missing, we have to close Internet Explorer. So let's close Edge or not Internet Explorer. I'm used to calling it Internet Explorer. So let's close this window and this should do it. Now let's play run 
and let's see if our automation is going to work and give us an infinite number of likes on a web page. Now, this is just a little example on how automation can be used for evil or to exploit pages from different, uh, for different results. As you can see, the automation is working perfectly fine. We are already at 10,930 and this is going to be number 31 or number 32. Excellent. Our automation is working. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this kind of videos on automation and how to learn automation in an interactive way by automating different things on web pages, different practical things that could be fun to automate and that also at the same time make you learn different things. In that case, check out my latest videos where I automate other really great famous applications like Twitter and LinkedIn. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.